What are you doing? I saw you. I saw you doing that. Go away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, man, you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. Don't get off. No, Sam, stop it. You weedy little shit. It's Give me the mine. Can. Give me the stop can. It. I need it. Grow up. starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh, Christ! Georgie, leave it alone. It might have fleas. Hello, Amanda. What are they up to? Oh, they found another dead bird. I do wish the council would clean them up. Well, apparently they're saying it's a flu epidemic. And I gather they'll be closing the roads and stations. So they're worried enough for that. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, you don't mess about with the flu outbreak, I suppose. But look, I'm just saying, if you were planning on taking the kids to Wales, now might be the time to do it. Well, thanks, Barbara. I have a word with Neil, see what he thinks. Now, George, Benjamin, for God's sake, leave it alone! Meg, come and have a look at this. Oh, I don't believe it. Charlie! Jeremy reckons someone had been raiding all the empty houses. He said a load of stuff had been taken. What's up? It looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies. Bastard. Well, we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months. We should get a truck. What, and go and get all of it now? Yeah, why not? It's Appleton. It's that bloody crackpot Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's fine. We'd better get moving before the weather turns. You come in. We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back.
safe from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. <sighs> I reckon he is. He said, uh, Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. Look, Frank, there's going to be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. This pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. It wasn't just some distortion of physics. I may not understand it yet, but it wasn't an accident. All of the clocks, what happened at Tower 6, it's just not random. There's an effort. An attempt to communicate. Just have a word with them, perhaps. Now they listen to you. Well, I really don't see what it has to do with me at all. The village looks up to you. I just think with what's been happening with Mr. Coles and Mrs. Boughton and the others, that people need somewhere to talk, to feel safe. Perhaps they don't think that your church is somewhere they feel particularly safe. I don't need your forgiveness, Wendy. Or theirs. Whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. Romans chapter 2, verse 1. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. It's not my judgment you should be worried about, Father. But fine. I'll talk to Barbara. Ask her to put a note up in the surgery about an extra service. Will that do? <laughs> even reach the back fence, silly old bugger. Well, loaves and fishes we can manage, but Hello, garden design is a little bit... Might I have a word? Mrs. Boyles, of course. Meg, will you excuse us, please? Uh, see you back at Charlie's later. Cheerio, Wendy. I was speaking to Barbara. 
She said there were some irregularities about Mary's morphine. Good grief. I mean, those are private medical records. Barbara should know better than to be discussing that sort of thing with you. If Dr. Wade finds out, he'll have no choice but to suspend her. Damn it, Wendy! Your brother is grieving. Mary was sick for a long time, and I'm glad it's over for her. Go and support Frank. He needs you now. God knows what you did. He sees. I just pray you can overlook Mary's weakness, but you, a man of the cloth, if you, have an issue you with... bring shame on this parish. If you have an issue with me, I suggest you write to the Bishop of the Diocese. I have parishioners to attend to. Excuse me. <laughs>